Hey guys, so today was the official gameplay reveal for Marvel Realm of Champions, and a lot of people are on the fence on this. Either they're, you know, one foot in, one foot out. I'm on the same boat. I feel like they, this gameplay reveal should have been a little bit more than what they gave us. The, basically, on the live stream, I tuned in right when it was going to hit, and I was in the chat. I was seeing, you know, a bunch of people were excited. Then finally, you know, it looked like it was going to start and kabam employee came on gave his opening remarks and said are you guys ready for some gameplay here it is not verbatim of course <laughs> and then yeah he played this and that was it after it faded to black the live stream was over everyone was kind of like is that it and sure enough that was it so real quick let's go ahead and play this i'm sure most of you guys have seen this already but i'll go over this and yeah experience a new Marvel Universe. The Kilisseum, the Badlands, Ironmongery, Palladium Mines, Necropolis, Warrior Falls, Astral Plane, Mutopia. Customize your champion. Looks pretty cool. Spider-Man getting a whole bunch of uh, different choices, selections. He looks awesome, by the way. Uh, multiplayer, epic, real-time mayhem, team up, defend, triumph. This is my gripe, by the way. Like all these little clips that were kind of thrown in. <laughs> One to three second long clips, man. I have no idea what's going on. 3v3 team brawls. Oh, okay, so on Twitter, in my last video, that one person from Kabam mentioned that this was not a MOBA, but this has a pretty big MOBA feeling to it. Uh, you know, not 5v5, nothing like League of Legends, nothing like Arena of Valor, nothing like that. To some extent, it does feel like that, and at the same time, it also does feel like uh, Marvel Future Fight and Marvel Super War <laughs> combined, you know, a little combination of both, and that's what a lot of people are saying in the comment section, and I think they're right. Uh, let's go ahead and check down here. We'll come back to this here uh, really quick. Uh, <laughs> my disappointment is immeasurable. Gaming motion, he is upset, and <laughs> my day is ruined. Kept us waiting for about a year. Damn, should have shown it at the announcement day. Oh man. I mean, it's a little telling here with uh, you know, the like to dislike ratio, kind of in the uh, one fifth ballpark. Actually, more than that. <laughs> what am I talking about? One fifth. It's like you know, two thirds of it maybe. Uh, but that is the sound of me having zero interest in the game after watching this gameplay that's the problem whoever greenlit this at kabam i think you should definitely definitely double think this you know rethink this the next time that you think about releasing some sort of gameplay trailer uh because the first one for this game i think it was a huge letdown for a lot of people it was lackluster for me and after the live stream like i said i was expecting that uh, person that Kabam employee to come back on and kind of go a little bit more in depth as far as you know customization the characters that you can play as because he only showed what it was three characters it was Hulk Storm and Iron Man sorry no yeah it was Iron Man no no, no it wasn't even Storm well yeah we saw some gameplay with Storm we saw Iron Man Spider-Man Hulk and Storm um, nothing from the other characters and what about the game modes you know what are these game modes these this, all the customization like what is uh what is this like this these the, the arenas look really cool okay don't get me wrong like this one the iron mongery um like this hulk buster in the back that looks awesome hulk buster suit here hulk buster suit here opposite sides as well little iron man hologram here uh, the arena ex itself on most of these looks look pretty cool this one the astral plane looks awesome with the tentacles that <laughs> one looks cool in the faces here and then let me go ahead and mute this. And uh, so customizations, make this big. Um, customize your champion. First thing that I saw as soon as I, as soon as I saw this, the first thing that I saw was this gold icon. It's <laughs> the same thing from MCOC. And then of course you have your premium currency. So it's gonna have, uh, you know, monetization for sure. I'm sure that this is gonna play a big part of uh, the customization. I really hope, when it comes down to it, um, the customization, the 
gear that you equipped on your characters it's not pay to win if that's the case uh it's gonna be really hard to like you know if if i'm if, if i'm pure pay to win and i'm you know 3v3 going up against free to play players with gear that is nowhere near you know to the stats that mine is i'm just completely gonna destroy them and that is gonna put a lot of people off so hopefully that's not the case uh, here uh here on the gear screen <clears throat> We do see you know a little indicator here it's a little green icon usually this means that this uh this gear set is better than what you currently have equipped they all have that and they all also have this uh green or sorry not green what am i talking about yellow lightning bolt whatever this means uh, but the sets here look really awesome i think they they put a lot of emphasis on uh, the gear you know the customization of the character uh, looks really cool though you can uh, customize your character however you want. And finally, let me look at this, guys. We're 30 seconds in, okay? And we're barely getting to the gameplay. <laughs> um, here you have some sort of... Uh, that thing from MCOC that they they just have, like, an eyeball, whatever this is. Uh, here's, like, two more over here in the back. This looks like it's PvE. Uh, so you team up, fight against some sort of... Uh, mobs uh this is here here wave three out of five uh, i guess these are how many are still out on the map that you have to defeat four of them and then it looks like you're defending some, some sort of spire obelisk thing don't let it get to zero otherwise you lose and yeah at the end of the wave i'm sure you fight some sort of boss three out of five this looks maybe to be like a little mini boss looks like he's you know a lot tankier than uh these other guys over here uh, curious to see how of course this plays out um, looks like if, th if this if that's all that that game mode is um, specifically it looks like it could be really repetitive and can get very boring very quickly that's just from my you know first you know observing it here we have iron man completely destroying something and of course if you blink you miss it because this is like a second maybe two seconds tops uh whatever this thing is it's another wave it's that game mode i guess there's more minions over here for mobs that you have to defeat on the left hand side with the indicator your teammates are on the right hand side and yeah he's gonna blast them and blow them to shreds <laughs> uh that looks cool i guess um i don't know if this blue bar maybe it's like you know abilities ready your mana pool you use mana to cast abilities and then this i don't know what this is this is maybe like an ultimate move sort of thing i don't know of course your health bar at the top and the one thing you do notice right away is there's no like buttons or anything no sort of abilities like in future fight where you can just tap a button and you use that ability i'm assuming you know honestly i'm assuming that's it's gonna have that um but yeah, it would have been nice to see, you know, a full kind of interface of the game. I think that would have been, you know, something good to reveal. <laughs> uh, but let's keep going. Here we have Hulk with this giant hammer sort of looking biohazard hammer thing. Just smashing away at these uh, these mobs. Who was that? Let me go back. Was that Spider-Man? Yeah. Looks like he has some sort of evade mechanic, so that's pretty cool. Evade and... Oh, sweet. That looks awesome. Uh, getting Hulk smash, doing some more smashing. Like, what is this? In, like, a second, there was, like, four different clips. I have no idea what happened here. Okay, so Iron Man is blasting this dude away. He's blasting over here at... Is that Hulk? I think that's Hulk. Yeah. And then Hulk is beating up someone else over here. And... All right, make sure we don't miss it. Hulk is about to get smashed by this uh, MCOC character. <laughs> I'm going to keep calling it MCOC character. I'm sorry, guys. I don't remember the name, okay? <laughs> uh, looks like that's... Uh, yeah, he's about to get smashed. Uh, this is Spider-Man once again against uh, Wave 5. Okay, so this does look like a boss. This looks like a... Mm, I, I, I don't know. I don't want to say the wrong thing. <laughs> uh, what is that? Some sort of spellcaster? I was going to say it looks like uh, like Storm or like some sort of uh, different version of Doctor Strange, but that does not look like the case. That does not look like Doctor Strange to me. <laughs> some sort of spellcaster magician thing. I'm assuming it's the boss, and then, yeah, you went after that. 
Um, yeah, Spider-Man going him. We saw Root, right? I didn't even notice that the first time. Let's go back. Slowed, oh, damn, that Spidey ability, man. That's nuts. Slowed, Root. So he slows them, he roots them. And yeah, that does look like a mana bar, by the way. I just noticed that again. Uh, let me see. Sorry guys, I keep like jumping all over the place. I'm trying to see if he has more mana. Like right before, oh no. No, I didn't see it go down. It was already <laughs> depleted. And here, you know, super quick changes to their outfits. Hulk looks all decked out, ready for some uh, biohazard warfare. <laughs> here we have Storm and of course Spider-Man. And then here they're gonna change really quickly. <laughs> it's some sort of like uh, decked out football makeshift gear with uh, buzz saws on his fist. That looks awesome, by the way. Storm looks really cool too. Spidey, uh, Spidey no change. General Hulk looks like, you know, ready for war. Uh, these fists, man. <laughs> Damn. And then, of course, Storm here again. Change. This uh, looks interesting. Um, this is the one thing that they did mention that it's sort of going to be, yeah, the 3v3 brawl. And this is the MOBA aspect that I'm getting out of it. It looks like you're fighting against three other players, PvP, I'm assuming. And the objective is to destroy the enemy's... Uh, modok looking machine thing with uh their house so this one you can see here it's um the bio sorry not it's not, not the biohazard the gamma horde with hulk and then over here you have the house of iron with uh iron man on this side uh storm has some sort of chill effect i'm assuming it's like a freeze um uh, iron man one <laughs> he's dead over here uh, you know, pretty sure you respawn in this game. Hulk is over here battling something else. Looks like there's spikes here, spikes over here. I don't see any sort of like power ups on the map, any sort of heals. So I don't know. We'll see how healing, if you even heal like when you're out in the field. Otherwise, it's just going to be, you know, do as much damage as you can. And then you end up just, uh, you know, respawning once you, uh, once you die. Uh, noob Master on this side. <laughs> So Hulk over here rammed two people into some sort of, you know, of course, wall, barricade, barriers, and it looks like they're stunned. This little stun icon. All right, what was that? Let's go back really quick. This looks like it's Spider-Man. No idea what's going on. This may be Iron Man. Um, Marvin. Uh... This is definitely Storm doing some sort of like chill uh, freeze effect, I think. I'm telling you, look at this. All these things go by so quickly, man. Like, all right, this looks like a buffed up Iron Man. This little icon here, whatever this is, either he has like extra armor and attack, something like that. Um, Would have been nice, like I said, if they disclosed some more information on a lot of these things. Oh. Here it is. I didn't even notice this. This is uh, the House of Wakanda. Kingdom of Wakanda, sorry. <laughs> uh, you have your Black Panther doing some damage. Spidey dodge. And then, of course, does all sorts of moves. Um, hey, it's Mike. Kabam, Mike. I found you, Mike. Wait, is it Mike? I think this is Mike. I don't know. Best falafel. <laughs> Iron friend, I just, I just, something. That looks awesome, by the way. Sorry, guys, this was supposed to be like a two minute video, but I went a little bit more in depth as I, yeah. When I went over this trailer, I didn't pause it frame by frame. I just kind of, you know, just watched it through one or two times and that was it. But now that, you know, I paused it through Got to see a little bit, you know, a couple more things that I didn't notice, you know, at first. But yeah, uh, like I said, I think Kabam, this gameplay reveal trailer was a letdown. I feel like uh, they should have showed a little bit more and they should have explained a couple of things. Customization looks great. You know, that I think they nailed it. That, you know, 
hit that right out of the park. Looks amazing. I can't wait to see some more. Can't wait to know more information about you know customization, if it's gonna have a big impact on the game, if it's gonna increase your stats by a lot, if gear is gonna be purchasable, which I'm assuming it probably will be, and you know, if you're gonna end up smashing noobs or if there's gonna be some sort of uh, you know, system that can, you know, dictate, you know, how much rating your character has, put you into, you know, a match with similar characters. That way it's pretty even and you don't end up, you know, making people hate the game that are uh, free to play. And yeah, I really do hope it's free to play friendly. Um, and I can't wait to see more, you know, gameplay, like real gameplay, longer gameplay, in-depth gameplay, you know, details lots of details i feel like that's what a lot of people wanted and what we were shown kind of you know gave more questions and answers that's for sure so hopefully we get a release date hopefully there's a beta soon and yeah let me know your thoughts guys on marvel realm of champions this gameplay what do you guys think uh, let me know your thoughts if you're upset disappointed excited um like i said it's early to tell uh you know, to fully form an opinion on this game, but uh, we'll find out hopefully more information soon. So thank you for watching. Have a good one, guys. Stay safe, and I'll see you in the next one.